Hey there, my fellow Royal fans, and welcome back to the channel. Today's headline, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have found themselves once again firmly under the spotlight. In recent weeks, the pair announced a string of new business ventures, as well as appearing in several broadcast interviews. The publicity floodgates opened following their sit-down with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey. It was here they aimed several allegations at the royal family, including on things like mental health and racism. More recently, Harry appeared in the podcast Armchair Expert, hosted by celebrity Dax Shepard. Listeners were furious at Harry, as he blamed his father, Prince Charles' upbringing under the Queen and Prince Philip for having negatively tainted his own childhood, describing it as genetic pain and suffering. Not a week later, he appeared in the first episode of his and Wimpy's new Apple TV Plus series, The Me You Can't See, and accused the royal family of total silence and total neglect, while Meghan battled to adjust to palace life, adding that the family tried to prevent the couple from leaving. For many, it was the last straw, including journalist Maureen Callahan, who wrote a damning column about the first episode in the New York Post. She said, We are watching an overgrown child throw an epic tantrum, and the point is unclear. Does Harry want to bring down the royal family? Prove he has something worth contributing? Does he even know what he wants? One thing is clear, he is profoundly tone deaf and a course correction seems unlikely. Even Harry would have to admit that the royals did one thing well. They carefully crafted image of Harry, military man, good with kids, the light-hearted prince with a charitable soul, was far superior to this one. Following on from his multiple interview appearances, reports now suggest senior members of the royal family fear Harry may reveal too much about the firm. Prince William is worried his revelations will continue the point where he alienates himself further from the royal family, according to a source talking to the Mail on Sunday. The source said William was both disappointed and greatly concerned by Harry's latest broadside in his latest documentary with Winfrey. While talking of Meghan, he also expressed concerns that the former actress would be put in a similar situation to his mother, Princess Diana. He said he turned to heavy drinking and substance abuse to cope with Diana's death, adding that he feared media harassment would end in Meghan's death. Harsh reality we live in, huh? We don't really know. We have never walked in his shoes. We don't know what it means, so I think we judge him too quickly. He's just saying what he feels is right, and everyone's entitled to their truth. Guys, if you have something to add, please comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.